Hi, and welcome to this week's Draw TV. Last week on the show, I was kind of describing how to do um, some coloring using the GIMP program. A friend of mine wrote me, and uh, Mr. Chris Jones, thank you, um, and wanted to know how to do it kind of in a step-by-step -step way. So today on the show, I'm going to show you how to do that. So grab your pen and paper. It's time for Draw TV. Alright, so here we go. We're back and I'm at my desk. I'm doing a split screen right now or screen in the screen or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is the GIMP program, G-I-M-P, and uh, it's a really neat program. We're going to start with a new uh, file, 11 by 17. I'm going to lower that to 100 uh, PPI there and it'll change on its own. Or you can click it just like I did. All right, so we're going to add a second layer. I like to work on a secondary layer. I don't like to work on the same layer as the background. It's just a thing with me. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to the ink tool. I'm going to select smooth stroke, and then I'm going to resize it to about two, two, two. All right. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to draw a basic picture here. And the reason I like to use smooth stroke is, I don't know, it's just, it just seems to um, look better if you're doing drawings on your computer. And I am using my mouse to do this, not a um, pen. See, mouse. And uh, I would like to get a USB pen or whatever. I don't want to buy a Wacom tablet, Wacom tablet, whatever it's called. Um, my uncle gave me one and I didn't like the delay. There was a, a real bad delay in the thing. But um, I prefer to draw with pen and ink. But since we're working on the computer, we might as well go ahead and do it directly on here. So, so right here I'm coming in, just a little simple drawing, nothing too complicated, nothing too complex. Real simple, and we're going to just you know, have some fun with this. <laughs> I know it looks silly, but you know you, you get the idea. It's something fun. Back it out just a little bit, and um, let's see. We'll finish up his, you know, this thing's body here, whatever it's supposed to be. Maybe some chestial pecs. He has a great amount of impeccable strength. Couldn't think of the word I wanted to use there, so I said impeccable again. Because I said pecs, so yeah. Anyway, and we'll put this rib cage here, flippity flop. And give him a belt. Maybe bring some flab down, let it hang down just a little bit. Drop a belt here. I always try to fill in these little gaps and sometimes you have to go and zoom into it and you'll see I've kind of went over a little bit here I'll get my eraser tool take that right off go back to the um, ink tool and back it out and um, let's put a belt buckle on him like that and that and I'm bringing down his lower arm I want him to wear a glove and I don't know why, but anyway. There we go. A little bit more musculature here. Now if you want to do thick lines and thick and thin lines and stuff like that, it can be done. You just have to have the proper tool. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff, uh, technology-wise, because I'm old school. I like pen and paper. But this is not a lesson about drawing. Today's lesson is about digitally coloring using the GIMP program. Now, up here you see I've got this layer. This is the layer I drew. So I'm blah, 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 like that. I'm going to add another layer underneath, drop it underneath it. You see I'll use the drop tool right here. Moved it down, lowered it. This, this is it now. Okay. Go back up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, and here, here, here. 
Alright. Then I'm gonna go down to this layer. That's not that's the blank layer right below it. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to select grow. So you go to your grow tool, pick pixels, grow. And make sure you've got it just so it needs to be in the black area see how it's kind of in the black area that's what you want and on this blank layer we're going to color this guy purple let's see that's a good purple right there okay then go over to edit and fill and you see it's you see it's right against it, it and in fact it's underneath it see it kind of I can't show you, I can tell you though, and you can look at the screen and you can see, see how it's kind of into it, but it's underneath it, you see. Now, you'll want to do that with each color. So for each color, you need to pick, make a new layer. So I want them to have, go back to the original drawing, make sure you got it. Okay, I want this, this I'm, I'm holding the shift key and clicking with the, the uh, fuzzy select tool. <clears throat> All right, those things are selected. Go back to this layer here, layer two. Select, grow. By one, it's also 0 .010 inches. Click OK. And then I want to add white, like that. Okay. And now we want to make another layer. Yes. Drop it below. Make sure your pins are back on the top. Well, another thing you want to do when you're working with GIMP is save everything you do. And the I'm saving it in pictures. And um, let's call it Purple Ape. All right. And we're going to, it's saved as an, X, an XCF file. That's the same as a, um, what is that, PSD file from a Photoshop, uh, Photoshop stuff. And you can actually, you do actually have the option of exporting it as, well, I've got it as a PNG here. Let's change that to PSD. And there's choices down here. <clears throat> you can pick all kinds of files you can save your work as. But I wanted to show you that you have the option. See, Photoshop image, PSD. You have that option to save it as that. So you can work with it and you can actually bring it into a Photoshop program and work with it there as well. But we've already done that. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're back here. Your drawing is layer this layer here. How about we change the name of that? Did you know you can change the names? So we click edit attributes and we're going to call this drawing and the purple one let's call that purple layer and this one we'll call white layer <clears throat> all right so we're back to the the there's the drawing make sure we know what it is then uh, we're going to select on the drawing, the mask, the glove, the shorts. Go to this layer below it, that layer, and we're going to select and we're going to grow it by 1.010 inches. And uh, let's see, what's a good color here? Let's go with... color wheel would be really helpful right about now. Let's do this. Let's see what options we have as we scroll. Ooh, that's nice. Cha -cha -cha. Let's use orange. Go big orange. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make sure we're on the correct layer. There's the drawing. There's this one. Okay. And we're going to fill with the orange. Go big orange. Hashtag GBO. Okay, now <clears throat> back to the drawing. Click, click. Hey, uh, let's go ahead and name that layer 
We'll call it orange layer. Alright, now, on the drawing again. Now we'll look. What, 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 what is this? I see the uh, background. So, we go back to purple layer. Everything is fixable. And just come right in. Look, that's it. Always save every few minutes, make sure everything's still there. Alright, so we're back to the drawing. We need to color the belt. So select, select, add a new layer, drop it below the drawing. Grow by one. And we're gonna color that black. Let's see. Grow by one. Hit and fill. Okay, like that. Now here comes the fun part. You're all of it's fun to me. We're gonna change the name of that real quick. Black belt. Alright, save it. Um, that's it. Okay. Now here's the fun part. Or complicated, however you want to play it. It's up to you. See where background is. I want to add a, another background. We're gonna call this Call it whatever you want. I'll call it official. Watch me misspell stuff. <laughs> official background. What the crap am I talking about? Anyway, so we're going to pick a, a color again and we're going to use the this little handy tool here to help us gauge a, a good background. I want that green. That's cool. Get it? And fill it with green. Like that. Now, now let's have some fun with this. Save it again. All right, on the official background, the green, let's go over here to the brush. Let's drop the opa opacity down to about 40. Not 32, 32 is perfect. Get about medium here, is this medium? Yeah. We're gonna jack the size up pretty big. A little bit bigger. There you go, that's the stuff. Now we've got to figure out which way we want the light to come from on this. So I'm going to bring the light down this way, so... You've got to pick black, Mr. Kaplan. Alright. And what we're going to do on this side, because the light's coming from here, we're going to put the shadow over on this wall. And we're going to go down one size. We're going to bring this down some more. This is a little bit bigger. And we're just going to come in just like that. Real nice light. And the closer to his body, you want to make it a little bit darker. And you can do that. See? We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And just come right, right in there. Don't go all the way over with it. Just right in there. It's cool. It's your own little thing you're making here. I don't have any squirrels on me, so I can't go crazy with that. But I do have an Iron Man toy. Anyway, but you see, you, you get back here and you kind of like touch up back there, and it gives it a nice little look there. So we save that, save, and all that is on the official background. So when I blink, it, it, it's it's there. Okay, now we're gonna back it up just a tick and move to the purple layer. In a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right. On this purple layer, we're going to select. This is the selection tool. It selects everything that's on the screen of that color. So I'm selecting all the purple stuff. Now, going back to the, uh, the paintbrush, black, right at like 17, about 278 on the size there, and we're going to come in like this. We're just kind of like airbrushing where the shadows on his body would be. On the purple part of his body, anyway. Kind of like that, you see. Okay, I'm just coming in there just like that, where that would be. Alright, now we're going to do the uh, color white. And we're going to do the opposite, where the light is. 
I'm just gonna get down with a little bit of light. Kind of like where you know, light would hit you in the hit you on the face or whatever. Or on. Think of it like um, if you had an apple in front of you and it's turned toward the window, where the light would hit the apple, basically. These are not apples, but you get the idea. What I'm trying to say here. And here, and here, 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 here. Like that. Just kind of go back and forth. Like so. Now, this is this is gonna be a little bit different, so I want to bring the size down. And the cool thing is you can see the size of the tool and how it will affect things. Let's bring it on down just a little bit more. Go right there. Now light's going to be on the edge right here. That's it. You don't want to put too much in here. Definitely here. Okay. Just a little bit here. Maybe the top of the ear. Control Z gets rid of the mistakes. All right, so click off of it. I'll save it again. All right, the next color we're going to work with is the orange, and we're going to do the select uh, everything tool again. Now I just noticed there is a gap right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, click off screen for a minute. We're still in the orange layer. I'm going to get that, that color orange again, this pencil tool, and just kind of fill that in, you see. Save that. Now, we'll pull out again, and we're going to use the selection tool. We're still on the uh, orange screen. And what we're going to do next is uh, switch over to the uh, paintbrush with the black 17. We're going to raise this back up to about 170, 180. Yeah. And with the black, we're going to go into the shadows. Again, this time we're on the orange. Just a little bit here and there. Let's see. Yeah, let's back it up just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring the size up just a little bit for the gloves. the illusion of shadow, uh, shadows basically. Now I'm going to flip this button here and get the white in and we're going to zoom in on the mask and we're going to we're going to do the paintbrush and we're going to bring it down about right there and right there for the brim of the nose and now we're going to pull back and go down to the glove you see here and paint brushing in. Uh, see, I'm going to come like right across the, the I guess rim rim of the glove, the top of the glove, whatever. And bring it down, bring it down, and then like this. And then over here, can look back and forth a little bit. Bring that in just a little more. Like now. Achieve that. Well, let's go to save it. <laughs> let's go to the white layer <clears throat> and same tool that this tool right here. It's, it's the color select tool, and that's every color in that layer. So click in white, every color of white selected. Going back to the black paint brush, bring your down about right there. Yeah, how about a little more? I am pretty tight in there. There you go. Just like that. Like that. Right, and then the, on the, the more light here, but you bring it down like this. And it gives you, you know, like 
like that top lip is like hanging over. And if you need to go over it again for a little more darkness, you can do that. However you want to do it. Okay. Back it up. Let's go down here to the belt. And I do apologize that this is not, you know, a perfect drawing, but this is just to show you what you can do with the colors. And then zip zap, just like that. Now you'll notice I got all this crud here. If you don't like that, Control Z, get rid of all. I'm using a uh, uh, Dell Inspiron with running Linux, so I don't know. I forgot what you use for uh, Mac, but whatever it is, you can use Mac on uh, Gimbal Mac too. So you know, whatever. Okay, so let's do this right. Let's go to this tool. First, we're going to back up click off screen. Now, this area of the white, we're going to get the single select tool right here. This fuzzy select tool selects one color on that layer. One section of color on that layer. There you go, the bell. Now let's zoom back in. Alright, we want this belt to look like metal. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of blue, put it down here at the gray. And this one, I'm going to put a little more toward the blue, like that. You see you have gray and you have blue. Then I'm going to click this tool. This is a blend tool. It's very neat. And you have different functions of the blend tool. Ways that you can uh, do the blend. Uh, how you can reverse the blend from one color, from blue to gray or gray to blue. And... Um, if you click that, you can see how things look. If you do, you can pick these different kinds of blends. But well, we're going to, ooh, brush aluminum. But, <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Um, we're going to pick the the, um, uh, the RGB version, which is already on there, see, right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to click, drag, and let it go. I see it's it's all gray, so control Z. Let's try it again. Click drag stop. Nope, still not working. Let's go off screen, click drag. Oh no, what's going on here? It's because the colors are so similar. So let's try and do that. Let's try that. Now we're talking. Now you can really see the difference. There's the white here and the blue. And it also fits the whole idea of light coming down. So now what I want to do is take the brush and I'm going to raise the opacity up to about 45. Yeah. And let's see how big this is. That'll work. Click smooth stroke. And I'm just going to go across. Click to the white, do the same. Now, it looks wobbledy, like uh, like his belt's not made of metal, but it's made of, I don't know, aluminum foil. Anyway, so we click drawing layer. We go over to the tool again, we're gonna go up to three. Make sure it's smooth stroke. Click here, hold shift, go over to the side, See, I made a white mark. I don't want a white mark. I want a dark mark like this. There you go. So let's try it again. Here. Go all the way over. Like that. Click. Go all the way over like that. Now it's you got this straight layer. area. And you do the same here. There we go. I'm already on it. Oops. clean it up with the eraser here. Let's go in real tight right here and get that cleaned up. Oh no! Oh no! What do we do? Click the purple layer. We get the purple. Okay. Get the pencil. Uh oh! It doesn't match. Easily solved. What you do is you click on that area the closest to it. 
click OK, and then fill it in. And there's still a little bit of problem here, but with the smudge tool, problem solved. We're going to file and save this. Now, we can add another special effect to this. And I'm going to put one more layer above the drawing layer instead of below it. Then I'm going to go over here to uh, color white and this tool here. And what I'm going to do is go down to this one with the transparency. And I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So we have light coming from above. Then we go over to filters, to lights and filters and all that good stuff. I want to have supernova. So we're going to take the little arrow for supernova all the way over. We're going to pick white since it's a white light. And we can bring those spokes way on out. Maybe bring the radius up. Click OK and let's see what it does. Now you have that extra light across the whole drawing. If you'll notice, let's zoom in on the black so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. You see even the black is affected by this, which is perfect. That's what you want. Okay, now all I want it to look like there's more light than it really needs to be. So this is lens flare. It's hard to see it on here, but it does make a difference. On some drawings it really makes a difference. Like if I go to the green layer and do lens flare on it. Let me show lens flare. Let's put that all the way up here. And then we'll kind of bring it in so you can see. Lens flare is, is very neat. And you can see like the, the light, you know, from the lens and all that good stuff. All right, so we're going to save this, file save. Now, you want to take it to a printer and get it printed off. I'm not going to get this printed off. It's a quick drawing just to show you what I can do. But, export as PNG or a JPEG, however you want to do it. Save it. Click that and put it on the disc or send it to your local copy shop and let them make you some posters and prints. And speaking of posters and prints, my good friend Ricky Blaylock just finished an amazing drawing. Uh, look him up. He is an incredible artist. This is what he's done recently. This is just a print off of the original, which is huge. Really good stuff. If you're not look, uh, following Ricky Blaylock, you need to. Okay, so now what I want you to do is go to Instagram. That's where I'm at. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Here on YouTube. Twitter sometimes, Tumblr sometimes, but mainly Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you're following me, keeping up with what I'm doing. Go to advancedcapleyart.com, checking it out, seeing what's going on. And um, this is really cool it's on instagram and i believe there's t-shirts available of this um follow this week i want you to follow pbj man underscore or underline or whatever it is zero nine this is what he's done and it's kind of hard to see with the light coming in on it but yeah that is that is cool that is just really cool and uh pbj man underscore underline whatever it is 09 you need to follow him on instagram he's got some cool stuff coming up thank you so much for watching today's episode make sure you like share and subscribe and come back next week for more draw tv i promise next week it won't be this long of an episode thank you again chris jones for the suggestion for tonight's episode look for me on instagram facebook YouTube and VanceKeplerArt.com. Have a great weekend and good night.